Welcome back to the shop, guys. Uh, this is going to be the third installment of our Scythian bow uh, bamboo back and belly experiment. Uh, we bring her to brace height this week. Uh, a little more tricky than uh, it may appear than just throwing a string on her. So let me show you how we got here. So when we were last together, or last week and last in the previous episode with this particular bow, uh, we had just pulled it out of the uh, glue up. And today I have cleaned up our edges. Kind of got the tips thinned down a bit there so that I can get some string grooves going and start getting this guy bending. But I did want to take a minute. Uh, initial observation showed uh, real good clean glue lines and uh, additional observations are just uh, confirming that fact. So really good, really good glue up here. Just a wee bit of a very minor bit of gapping right here, which I think will probably resolve itself once everything gets uh, cleaned up and, and milled down uh, to final shape. But very, uh, very impressed with this particular glue up. Uh, it is pretty stiff to start, uh, but I feel like every bamboo bow that I make, uh, bamboo back and belly is stiff to start and then just gives it up big time in compression as we start working it through. So we will see where this one goes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some string grooves put in there and put her on a long string and we're gonna start bending this guy right away. All right guys, here we are on the long string. Getting some pretty decent bends. You can tell that uh, we seem to be, you know, straight at least tracking straight uh, from at least at the start of things. Um, bend seems to be good, I guess. I feel like we're bending a little more on this limb over here than this one here, but that could just be angle of the view. I apologize, I am. I got a busy background going. When I take the next shots, I'll be sure to have a backdrop back there so we can actually see the shape of this bow. Uh, let's see if we back this way up. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to tell. I, I mean, as things get going, it should be a little easier, but I feel like the bend is later on this limb here than it is on this one. It just feels that way, the way I'm looking at it now. That, that may not be the case. But uh, anyway, these are our initial bends. Uh, it took me quite a bit of pressure to get it down uh, on this. This is a long string. You know, we've only got it pulled to about 11 inches on the uh, tillering tree here so we'll just keep exercising this thing and uh, we'll thin out the or we'll start narrowing the the limbs here to start taking some weight off all right so I'm not entirely sure if you'll be able to see this but there is just the ghost of a line right across here on this one side of the limb here and that is where I took down the width on both sides, all right, to uh, try and affect the weight of this bow. And it's still, it's still pretty stiff. Uh, but what I've been doing is I'll just draw the line from the grip section out to where this taper starts. So I put a, a line where the feathered end occurs with the uh, tip wedge. All right, on both sides, so I got another line here. And I'm, I'm like just thinning this section of limb and then coming out under the taper. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just take in my grip by about an eighth of an inch, just right in here, so that I can access this piece 
and just thin it as I need to thin it, knowing that I'm going to get nice square edges on there, or even, even removal, let's say, from fade to taper is where we want to get a nice straight removal right through here. So I'm going to take this on a bandsaw and just kind of cut this section out, knowing that the grip's going to be thinner than this in the end, uh, but that allows me to run the, the width down to as thin as what this is right here without interfering with the grip section. We're having the grip section interfere with the removal, put it that way. Now that we've got this narrowed down a little bit, it will not interfere with these new lines that I have on either side of the limb that I'm going to take down now to try and lose some weight off of that limb. I'm trying to do this very regimentedly uh, such that I don't end up with anything way too light. Uh, I'd prefer this thing to land between 35 and 40 pounds at 28 inches. Um, it's much more difficult for me to hit those weights when I'm working with bamboo because things change so rapidly as I approach full draw. Uh, but that's the original, that's my current intent, and it's feeling awfully strong uh, out of the gate. So just do a little more initial removal and then just spend a lot of time exercising it on the tillering tree. So I've done a couple of removals on the width of these limbs here, and they're really starting to get pretty narrow, almost such that they're almost the same width all the way out to the limb tips here. Uh, this one's just a little bit narrower than the other side. But uh, the tiller's looking really pretty good. So I'm loving the way this is bending. Now, make no mistake, it is a tough bend to get to where it's at. And I might be able to get it onto a, a shorter string at this point, uh, given the uh, distance I'm able to pull it here on a long string, uh, which is going to change the force on these limbs and really kind of compress it this way versus this way and uh, change that look a little bit but as it stands right now I am really uh, I'm really happy with where this is going uh, I think I'm going to try and shorten the string maybe try and get the uh, string to set off the handle so we can start working on alignment all right here we are guys uh, still on the long string pulled to 15 inches uh, I have officially finished with weight reduction in terms of width. So I have taken this limb or these limbs from being an inch and a half wide. I uh, remember that I, I opted to be on the wide side to work tiller and then understanding that we could work with width to reduce weight and do the, th the things that we need to do to get the bend right. Well, I am now down to less than one and a quarter at the fades and as thin as one inch. I'm one inch wide right here where the uh, tip wedges come in to play. And that is about as narrow as I am willing to get because now I mean, that starts, that starts working on stability, All right? So we can run into issues like limbs twisting and et cetera. So at this point now, I'm going to have to move on to removing wood directly from the belly of these limbs. I would have done better to go a little bit thinner on my lambs. So, you know, this is one of those note to self for future builds. Uh, really go go light with the laminations. Uh, but you can see that the bend is looking really pretty good. So as far as tiller is concerned, I'm pretty happy, which means we're just going to be doing even removal on both limbs here until uh, until we get the, the weight class that we want and, and continue to work the, the bend as well. Uh, I have not even been able to get this thing strung, and I have exhausted my 
my width tillering options. So uh, thinner materials definitely would be a better plan uh, with the next build. Got our string or strung here. So off the uh, grip by, I don't know, maybe four inches or so. Uh, and bend still is looking pretty good. I apologize for the background if I shoot on my normal. Uh, and over here, I got way too much. The sun is just right to mess things up. So bear with me on this uh, because I want to show you where I'm at and then continue going. Uh, encountered exactly what I was worried about encountering here. Uh, we've got a little bit of limb twist occurring. I don't know if you can kind of see this where the top is this direction and the bottom's kind of pointing out this direction. So we've got a, a little misalignment right in here. So I'm trying to take off material right along in this area here, but already pretty thin. Now I did expect that this was going to be thin. These tips are going to be thin in the end result because they're so, you know, because they're so thick uh, front to back or back to belly. So not too awful concerned there. At this point, I am going to start working at uh, taking material off of the belly. So you can see I've already got marked out the one side here, the stiff side on this limb to try and encourage it to bend the, the other direction. Uh, marked out basically the working portions of my limb on both sides from, from riser to... Uh, tip wedge. So those are the areas that we're going to take material out and try and get this thing to bend a little easier. Uh, put it on the uh, tillering tree out in the yard and uh, pulled from, from its current state, so about a four or five inch brace height, uh, pulled to 16 inches and it's pulling 30 pounds. So uh, we're not even at brace, and we're already pulling a very, I mean, a not a very high weight, but getting to 30 pounds at only 16 inches. So we got a long ways yet to go on this. Um, again, I am teaching it to bend, not breaking its will. So we want to be careful about how far we flex these limbs before we start making adjustments on them. Okay, guys, I'm going to apologize in advance for the background here. Uh, there's just enough breeze that I can't put a, a backer on this thing uh, for good view. I'm going to zero my scale here and I'll show you guys what I'm dealing with. Um, I said it at the beginning of this build that I believe I'm going to be pushing my materials to their absolute limit. Um, I am going to stand by that statement because I'm just looking at the bends on this bamboo and thinking to myself, I don't know how I'm going to pull this thing to a full draw and still have a piece of, a singular piece of wood um, without either breaking its will or breaking it entirely. But this is 18 inches of pull right here. I'm at about 28 pounds. And remember that the brace height on this thing is only at about 4 or 5 inches. So a long ways yet to go. But uh, you get an idea of the shape of this thing and how it's working. I'm going to continue taking material off of the, the belly pieces right in here. Uh, to encourage a little easier bend. Uh, but after that, it's just up to the materials. We have officially coaxed this bow to brace height. So here we are, uh, low brace height, uh, about five inches, but in, in low brace height for this style of bow. So, you know, still working on that. The uh, bend that is occurring on these limbs just at brace height is pretty extreme. Uh, I am no doubt pushing this bamboo 
to its to its extreme, uh, and I don't know if it's going to be able to handle uh, full draw. I have managed to get this guy to about 22 inches on the tillering tree, uh, weighing it at about 30 pounds at that uh, length, more like 28 and some change. So uh, hitting that 30 pound class rather early, so in like the 23 to 24 inch range, which gives me another, you know, four or five inches yet to work out uh, as far as uh, getting this to full draw. But given its weight class right now, 30 pounds at about 23 uh, inches of draw, we're not going to need to worry about extracting any more weight or, or making it any lighter. We're pretty much in the weight class that uh, I was hoping to be in. Uh, so from this point forward, it's just a matter of coaxing it to full draw and making sure that the limb tips stay aligned uh, the whole time. Uh, any tillering issues are addressed as they arrive and really ultimately see if these materials have got full draw even in them. Uh, that is going to be next week's endeavor. Uh, so join me next week, guys. Thanks for being here uh, this week. And hopefully we've got something shooting next week.